So today we have the neck um, that we're going to be working on. And uh, it's a little dusty. Might have to clean that up a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these tuners. Um, I don't even know what kind of tuners they are. Um, we're going to have to get rid of these. I'm also going to take uh, the nut and remove it and put in the gold nut. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do any kind of fret work on this. Um, the frets don't appear to be sharp at all. So, and there's very little wear on there, just maybe a little bit. These are jumbo frets, um, which I prefer because I just like having easier playing with this. Uh, the neck is pretty thin. Kind of reminds me of a fender that I had built. Well, it was actually my first built. Had a neck similar to this, very thin neck. But I like thin necks. Um, and obviously the shark inlays are kind of nice too. And that looks actually kind of clean. I mean, it doesn't look too bad at all. I think they took their, took their time. The, the body is made in... Uh, Japan but this is definitely a made in China neck but it's a Jackson neck so but it's a perfect fit with the guitar and uh, I'm gonna start working on that now all right so we're back so the tuners are on they look wonderful I really like how the gold looks on that headstock it makes it look kind of like a, a very classy uh, Jackson uh, but here's the setback. So the other neck was a 42 millimeter uh, wide nut. This one is a 43 uh, millimeter wide nut. So we, I tried the nut that uh, I had for the Floyd Rose and it did not fit at all. Uh, it was just a little too small. Uh, I tried to play around with possibly uh, drilling the holes and just kind of centering it uh, being that it wasn't that much uh, big that much smaller uh, but it just it didn't work so for the time being we're going to leave the stock nut in there uh, it's not going to look as nice as it if it were all gold uh, but I already ordered a new nut uh, and it's on its way hopefully I'll get it uh, in a couple of days um, it's local uh, so because I was trying I'm trying to avoid ordering anything from China right now uh, so hopefully I'll get that part in maybe in the next couple of days and I might even do an update video to show you the uh, the new nut but for now we're gonna keep this one on on this uh, guitar so I started assembling uh, the tremolo uh, the studs uh, went in fine so they would not be uneven so those are ready to go so we finally made headway on the bridge um so let me pull this out so what i did is i took um a little bit of sandpaper and i sanded down the finish that was here uh it was basically just the uh paint that they used the conductive paint that they use uh, for the tremolo uh, but um, I sent, sent it down and then I went over it with a sharpie and as you can see you can barely tell that I took anything off and you won't be able to tell once I put the tremolo on so now the tremolo fits perfectly let me just show that okay so now there's complete clearance there and it goes all the way in it's basically this one's a little bit more on on this side but again i'm not too worried about it because i put so let me just show you so that's clearing perfectly now but i also got uh my ruler and as you can see the string will go straight through there and it still goes straight into the pickup so we're not going to miss the pull piece there. Go straight into those poles. 
So we're going to be fine with this. I mean, it's, it won't be perfect, but again, I'm not looking for a perfect build. This tremolo did not come with uh, this body. I'm sure it uses uh, Jackson's own uh, type of tremolo, uh, but we're going to go with the gold and we're going to go with this fast loader type of uh, Lloyd Rose. But so far, so good. I mean, it's clearing perfectly. It's not catching at all on this side. It's perfectly even with this side. So, looks to me like this is going to work out fine. So, we have the claw inserted. Um, it's screwed on almost halfway through. Uh, right now, I'm going to solder the ground cable over to the claw. And we're going to throw in the Floyd and put the springs on there and then uh, we'll put the the neck and the back plate and uh, hopefully we'll start putting some strings on very soon so the Floyd is mounted so you can see that has good clearance there and then uh, we also got the springs added on and we have the screws on the claw i will not uh, insert the screws any further in because i need to continue adjusting until i got um, some tuning tuning stability and then we will put the back plate on and then we will strum it once we get some strings on it i think this build is coming out really good all right so at last the neck has been put on uh, ran into some problems with those bolts, but uh, I think they went in fine. Um, they were a little too long, and I noticed that there's a bit of a taper right by the neck pocket. So I figured that these needed these uh, screws needed to be trimmed down just a bit. That's why I trimmed them probably a quarter of an inch, and now they fit perfectly. Um, Next on straight. Um, it's coming along great. Those are the, the gold tuners. Yeah, that nut is killing me because I wish I had the right one, but uh, it's going to be coming on its way. But for now, it'll serve the purpose of at least uh, getting some strings on this and getting some sound out of it. So more or less, this build has come to an end. Um, the guitar has been strung up. Uh, we have some elixirs that we put on there. And those these are the polywebs. Uh, Scott Grow's most recommended strings. Uh, they're, they're super light strings. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of heavy strings. So uh, I've gone with these. Um, and uh obviously when we're talking about a floyd rose you're always talking about uh tuning and it being a pain in the butt to get in tune uh i think i did okay uh it's not perfect and as a matter of fact i probably will have to sit down and let the strings stretch out a little bit more and then uh tr try to retune it and i'm also going to see if i can get I, I heard about the popsicle stick trick uh if you put it in the block uh, and then you tune it, and then you can give, get a better tuning out of it. Uh, but, you know, it's not, it doesn't sound too bad. It's, it it's actually sounds like it's staying in tune pretty well. Um, and it's not, I mean, it does feel, I mean, it's not super heavy. I mean, it, it's, I think for the extra weight that maybe we're going to get with the locking tuners and you know may, maybe it's a little bit heavier but i don't think it's that bad and uh but i love these gold locking tuners i mean when i was uh winding up the strings it made everything so much easier you know you just lock the string into place tune it up and it it, it was fine i also wanted to show the back uh the back covers for the uh springs fit perfectly uh i did not have to drill any extra holes Unlike the control cavity cover, I did have to drill some holes, but they're, they're looking fine. I mean, it looks like they line up fine. 
So it's been several days since <clears throat> I completed this build. Um, and I think where we left off was I was going to change the nut that came uh, with the neck uh, to a gold one. Uh, that didn't really work out. Uh, what ended up happening is that that nut did not fit the holes that were already pre-drilled on the Jackson neck. I get, I assume I could have modified it. Uh, but at, at this point, I'm just very happy with the one that's already on there because it's the right size and it's the right fit. So I really didn't feel like messing with drilling in there and filling in there. So I decided to just keep the the nut that came with it. Uh, you could, you, it doesn't really offset it too much. I mean, I, I the idea would have been a gold nut, but it's not a deal breaker for me. I'm fine with the way it is right now. Uh, so during the time that I was changing the string, I was pulling out the strings on this and trying to uh, see if the new nut would fit, I accidentally broke uh, one of the, the E string. So I ended up having to hang this thing and leave it un unstrung for a couple of days because I had to get some replacement strings uh, for the E. So that had to be taken care of. Another problem was that apparently the second time that I tried tuning this thing, it was a pain in the butt. I just tried everything. Um, I even ended up rolling up a couple of pieces of wood to shove into the block to stabilize it. And I just finally gave up. And uh, what I ended up doing is I ended up installing a stopper. So that's a, a tremolo stopper. So this thing uh, won't allow me to do uh, backwards bends. But I could do forwards bends, which is fine with me. I mean, I'm not... Um, I don't think I'll be banging around the Floyd that much. I just want something that's easy to restring. And by putting the bracket here to stop the block from moving around, it makes this thing a lot better, a lot easier to to tune. And as you can see, I mean, the tuning is fine here. So, and uh, so I'm happy with uh, the end result of this. Uh, we are finally going to be able to get a sound demo because... Uh, so the first sound demo that I did, um, I ended up finding out that the the input jack was wired backwards. So we were getting a lot of interference and that's very low output out of these pickups. Once I was able to fix that wiring uh, and wired it correctly, uh, the guitar started sounding like what the monster that it was meant to be sounded like. So... Um, we're gonna go ahead and demo it. I'm gonna have my wife record me. Uh, we're not. I'm not gonna do any crazy shredding or anything like that. This is just to hear the guitar out and the pickups. Okay. Okay. We'll do the neck. Do both pickups. Okay, and then we'll do the push pull. So that's single coil. So we'll do bridge first. Then we'll do neck. And we'll do both. So that's it. That is the build. Um, I'm aware that I'm slightly out of tune. Um, I might need to fine tune this a little bit more. Uh, but I just did this for the sake of the demo and sorry, I'm not a super guitar player, but uh, I just wanted to make sure that people could hear the, the guitar. Nonetheless, this build is done first, first for the channel. So I am very happy with the results. Um, anyways, uh, there are other builds that I'll be doing. Uh, please keep tuned for the other parts of the uh, DIY Telecaster coming up. All right. Thank you.